Ugh. Ugh. This car is filthy. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, I wanna talk about some of the accessories that I actually use on a daily basis. You know, I've had the Model 3 for a while now. There's a ton of things that I've bought to try to enhance the Model 3 experience. And really this goes for like the Model Y as well. But today I wanna talk about the ones that I actually still use. You know, like I said, I've had them for a few years. I've tried a bunch of different kinds. These are the ones that I use still to this day and that I think are actually worth it. So first, let's talk about the convenience ones, the ones that just make your life a little easier. First, a garbage can. Having a little garbage can in the car or a bag or something to place your garbage in is very nice. You never know when you're gonna have trash and need to throw it away, so having that is great. This one I got on Amazon. I'll leave this and everything else linked down below, so if you wanna pick something up, be sure to do that. But it just clips to the back of the seats and you put your trash bag inside of it, and it's a nice place to keep anything you don't need. It comes with a bunch of garbage bags so you don't get the inside dirty if there's something wet or anything like that. And it keeps itself shut magnetically, which is nice. There's also a battery powered little light in there. So when you open it, it turns on a light so you can see a little better. Mine doesn't work. It's probably a dead battery, but honestly, I don't even care to replace it because whenever I'm using it, I just stick my hand behind the seat and throw something away. But this is something I think not only every Tesla should have, but every car in general. This is very handy. Now the next one is very simple, but this should come with the Model 3 and it just doesn't. And that is a hook in the trunk so that you can hang your groceries. Again, I got this one off of Amazon. It's a cheap little aluminum hook that actually screws into a screw that already exists there. Very easy to do, you just screw it in. And then now whenever I go shopping for groceries or anything like that, I can just hook them on there and they won't go flying everywhere. For me, I actually have stuff stored in my sub trunk, which is why I don't put groceries there. Although that is also a great option. But if you are someone like me who can't use the sub trunk, this is the next best thing. Luckily, my car does have the front trunk hooks, which are a nice thing to have. I don't know why they ever took those away, but they did. I have them, so I do use the front trunk as well. But having hooks in the front and the back, that's the way to go. This next one is not new, but I haven't seen very many people talk about this particular one. This is a center console wrap, but it is not a vinyl wrap. It's actually an ABS plastic wrap. Now, if you have a 2021 model, you don't really have to worry about this, and I'm jealous of your center console, but for everyone who has a little bit of an older Model 3, you know that shiny plastic in the middle is an annoyance. Well, this fixes that, but what's great about this is it's not a wrap, it's a piece of plastic that you stick on, and what I like about it is that it fits much more snugly and it's way easier to install. To me, this looks more factory than the vinyl wraps. I had a vinyl wrap in my car before, and what ended up happening is after time and use, it just started peeling and it didn't look very good. I really did not like it at all. Once I've gone to this, it still looks like new to this day. You just clean it and like you would any other part of your car. And it really does feel like it fixed the problem I was having with the center console. And right above that, I'll talk about it real quick, is the screen protector I use. It's the Spigen screen protector. This is by far the best one to get. Again, I've tried a bunch of screen protectors before the Spigen one was even out, and they were fine. They were just really hard to install. This one has the applicator. You just put it over the screen, slide your finger across it, and boom, you're done. It has installed. Although I will say, this is not a fault of the Spigen one because it's happened with all my other ones before, but I've actually had them crack pretty often, and I think that's mainly my fault. My guess is that when I go to put my phone into the cradle, I accidentally tap it to the screen, and then I get a little tiny hairline crack that just continues and gets bigger. That's my fault, I'm pretty sure, but it does prove the point that having a screen protector there is nice, because if I hit my phone on the screen, who knows, that could, that could be bad. Now let's talk about something new that I'm also really enjoying, and that is inside of the center console. This is the Jetta tray, and it sits below on the bottom of that center console. And what's great about this is it gives you a few different places to wirelessly charge and store things. I am a full wireless charging convert and I love having it. So having multiple ways to wirelessly charge things is always great. I have my phone up top on the wireless charger, but then down below, if I ever need to, I could charge my watch, which actually has happened to me before. You know, I woke up, forgot to charge it the night before, going somewhere, throw it on the charger real quick for a little bit and that works. And same thing goes for my AirPods. I have the AirPods Pro. And there are those times where they're just at a battery and I don't have a cable necessarily handy to plug them in. This, throw it on the wireless charger and then by the time I get to my destination, they're charged up enough to use. But it's also just a great place to store things. Like you can put your sunglasses here, you can put your keys for your house here. All of that stuff fits really well, nicely in the center console instead of having to put it, you know, like in the cup holder or in the side of the door. 
I like having organization here in the middle because before it's really just a big void that is uh, not very useful. I just kind of ended up throwing stuff there, but now that I have a place to organize it, I'm really enjoying the Jetta tray. They actually sent this out for me to try and you know, I'm a convert. This is actually the first Jetta product that I'd ever used. And now I know why people seem to like this brand so much. Very high quality product. I'm liking it a lot. That also is connected to the Jetta USB hub, which is kind of right in front of it. And really you can't tell that it's installed and that's kind of the whole point. It makes having an SSD in your car for the Sentry mode much easier, much cleaner, because before I just had a little USB stick in there and it was okay, but now it's a very flush mount and I think it looks a lot better, a lot more secure. If someone breaks in, they're not necessarily going to know that the dash cam footage is stored right there. Plus it has a few more USB ports, so I could use a cable if I wanted to not use wireless charging. But having this in combination with the tray and the wireless charger up top for my phone, it's like the best connectivity all around. I'm loving the setup. For the longest time, I did not have any third party floor mats in my car. I just had the standard ones that came from Tesla and they were great, you know, they're fabric and they're nice, but they do get dirty over time. But I really just never justified to myself getting third party floor mats until 3D mats sent these over for me to check out. And these are kind of the tried and true Model 3 floor mats. And now I know why, because they're actually really good. These floor mats sculpt to the edges and the sides of the floor wells so that it covers everything really well. They're more rigid than they are fabric. And because of that, they stay in place perfectly. When they get dirty, you can easily clean them. And these are just the go-to floor mats, I think, if you are looking for a really good pair. I also really like what they offer in the front and the trunk, so they have pads for that as well. Again, my car is a little bit older, so I do have a floor mat in the front, but this one is much more heavy duty, and since I'm throwing a lot of stuff in there all the time that don't necessarily care about being dirty or anything, having a nice protectant floor mat in the front is good, and same thing goes for the trunk. I'm definitely throwing stuff in there all the time that's dirty or just could scratch or you know all that kind of stuff. Having this heavy duty floor mat in the trunk is a really nice way to go. By the way, if you do want to pick these up, use that link down in the description because 3D Mats is actually giving you guys a discount. $10 off, just enter the code MAT 3 d 10 You can get $10 off your purchase. You know, a little bit something to go towards your purchase. Okay, so that is everything on the inside, which is pretty much everything, but there is one thing on the outside which I have used a lot, although not everyone will need this, and that is the Model 3 roof rack. Ever since I got this installed, I have really enjoyed having it. It just makes strapping things to the roof so much easier. Now, when I used to live in California, I would strap the surfboard to the top so much easier than the method I had before, which would either stick it into the car, which that was a pain, or I would strap it down with suction cups. Also kind of a pain, it just took forever to do, having this makes that so much easier. And if you've had a roof rack, you obviously know. But now since I've moved, I can't use my surfboard anymore. So I've been using my mountain bike instead. And for that, I'm using the Yakima High Road. This is the first bike rack I've actually had for the roof. And I absolutely love it. It's super easy to install. It's very secure. I actually had my bike strapped to the top of the Model 3 all the way from California to Utah for 10 hours straight. And it was fine. Again, the roof rack is not something a lot of people need. But if you do find yourself wanting to carry more cargo than can fit inside of the car, this is not a bad way to go. And I think the way Tesla implemented this is pretty good. So, I mean, those are the accessories that I find myself actually using on a pretty routine basis all these years in. Again, I've tried many other accessories, but these are the ones that have really stuck. I wanna thank those that sent products out for me to try, but for the meantime, I'm in the lookout for more accessories and hopefully ones that will stay in my car.